All right, Anchor.com, we're on the air, Thunder, there it is, Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast, that's right, we're the number one app on your internet dial. Friday night, my friends, how are you doing, and what is going on? Ah, uh, mercy, friends, we got so much to cover. Come on, church. Oh, man. Thank you. Hallelujah. out there. Amen. There we go. All right. I think we're good. We got everybody up on their feet. As they should. My precious friends. Friday night. Live over at Podbean. Live right here at Spreaker.com. Uh, I've got loads to give you. Lots to give you. Coffee. Hot off the press hot off the grill and uh i'm excited friends i got some messages coming out of the king james version friends we're going to take a look at uh the book of psalm 17 tonight friends uh right off the bat and then you know i've got uh, as we are continuing in our new bible study series we're going to continue our uh you know, the message, the Bible study uh, in the book of Enoch. Friends, I'm excited to bring that. We are closing down. We're winding it up and uh, getting close to the last uh, few chapters of the Bible of uh, Enoch, friends. And I hope you learned a lot. I hope you, you know, getting something out of that. Now, I'm still praying on the book of Jasher, which actually follows right directly after that uh that book but uh well well you know i i always gotta lean on the spirit friends you know you gotta lean into the cross when you get situations going on in your life uh lean in and uh press on right amen all right well let me see now friends like i said i was gonna try to actually when i uh, i posted it out on twitter i was gonna try to get on here at 10 but uh, my little princess kitty cat uh, chewed on the cords and actually uh, redid everything. So uh, it took me about 50 minutes uh, to really uh, get the uh, cords, mics, uh, all that stuff. Hi, I'm Jay Farner, CEO of Quicken Loans. 30% Hang of on here. Planning home improvements of $5, all right. I love my commercials. That is so awesome. Anyway, just testing the volume. So anyway, that's what happened, friends. It just delayed. Uh, she was, she's just a baby. She's active. Uh, you know, resting comfortably in the VIP section right now. But, uh, you know, she's just a baby running all over the place. Uh, dive bombing the uh, microphone and stuff and, you know, hanging on him like it was some new toy or something. Well, anyway, that's what happened, and that's what took me so long to get uh, retested, you know, get these te- uh, the mics and the volume levels re- uh, rechecked and uh, retested here. So, uh, let me get make sure I'm back up on the microphone now. I wanted to get back on here. So, yeah, we're live, Podbean, friends. Uh, thanks for tuning in, and... Uh, you know, all right, so let me double check the volume here. I keep forgetting we're on the Mac for uh, the uh, the feedback here, and uh, so there you go, friends. All right, well, it looks good, sounds good, amen. All right, so it looks like we're we're doing okay. So I got our YouTube channel. Uh, pulled up just uh, for an extra monitor here. You know, I had to kind of get some things kind of lined up here. Amen. Well, friends, uh, I've got the, uh, what do I got? Oh, I got a lot of stuff tonight, friends. Glad you guys are here. Uh, Grab your Bibles, pens, papers, notebook, tablets, highlighters, uh, highlighters for your highlighters. And, uh, yeah, let's get into the Bible study tonight. Lots to give you, lots to share with you, uh, of course. And uh, so uh, I 
hope you're ready, friends. Are you ready for the Word of God tonight, friends? Friday night, Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast. Pastor Rick Riley here live. Uh, taking a look at a few chapters here. We're going to look, like I said, friends, we're going to go into uh, the book of Psalms, chapter 17 tonight. And uh, quite a few others. Like I said, we've got uh, so much more to uh to give you to throw out at you and uh so i hope you uh hope you're ready amen all right so my friends let's see here hang on i'm i'm uh getting a couple of things worked out here uh so friends now listen we gotta right off the bat we gotta pray uh always prayer friends is good uh, for our friends in California, and now apparently another one this morning over in Seattle. Uh, so it looks like that ring of fire is uh, active. So would you keep a prayer out for uh, for our brothers and sisters over there, uh, and uh, you know keep them in mind, friends, would you? Because oh, friends, well we're ready to go. I think we are ready to go now. I'm going to log in real quick over to our Spreaker radio app, which you guys can find on your iTunes and uh, iPad and all that stuff, your playlist and all that stuff, and uh, iTunes store, I think, something like that. Uh, but yeah, so uh, <laughs> friends, you know how we do it. You know what I do here, friends. I'm, I appreciate you guys uh, hanging in there with me. You know, I was uh, pretty the spirit. He gives me something uh, good to share with you uh, because it's got to be Holy Spirit led, you know, and straight out of the Bible. So uh, I'm not trying to uh, jump around and do all that other stuff, friends. Just doing what the Spirit gave me to do. Amen. All right, so we're here Friday Night Live, my precious, precious friends, and I appreciate you guys, again, with a precious, precious word. Anyway, <laughs> friends. Hi, I'm Jay Farner, CEO Hang on. of Wicked Loans. 30% of Mercy. Who are planning home improvements of five there is our feedback, our live that may playback. Not be a great idea. A Amen. May be to take cash out of your home. So there you go, friends, always... Uh, know what's going on here, so I want to make sure. All right. Hang on here, friends. i got to maneuver a couple of quick things. So I was supposed to go on YouTube Live today, friends, but it looks like I'm going to have to move that over tomorrow just because uh, of all the continued activity over here. We're doing some trenching and sodding and uh, some blinds and all that stuff so yeah lots going on and uh so we are uh keeping busy but yeah i'll get on there i'll, I'll be jumping over to youtube live this afternoon uh, later today uh so let me pull up the monitors and see what's going on with the volume all right what's going on here so i want to make sure all right so there you go friends Looks like it's doing all right. So, well, let's get into it, friends. Heavenly Father, I come before you right now as I am humbled and honored uh, to continue these messages, this mission that you have called me to do. God, I thank you. Uh, I know it's challenging and, uh, you know, it's taxing on our physical bodies. Uh, you know, uh, this life, this thing's going on, is taxing on our physical bodies. But, you know, um, as I move more in the spirit and and listen to this, you know, listen to the spirit, uh, you know, uh, we, I, I can overcome it. I know I can. And I, I you've, you've already uh, made that possible, Father God. And so, you know, you know what's in my heart, God. You know, I, I get a little tongue-tied sometimes, and I, I'm just uh, in awe. I just stand in awe at your great power, your love, your compassion, and uh, your forgiveness, because you are the God of many chances, uh, as we were talking about that earlier, uh, many do-overs 
And we forget that sometimes, Father God. We forget, you know, just how great you are. So, again, Father God, I want to thank you and give these podcast messages. This is all your uh, doing, God. And uh, uh, I just move forward every day and do these messages and, uh, you know, do your work and what you've told me to do, what you, com- you know, command you c- commanded us to preach the good news gospel to all nations. Uh, and I thank you for that. That is so awesome because you are an awesome God. Uh, you know, and I always want to lift up my family, my friends, and everybody connected, everybody going through the situations, the struggles, the cities that are having these earthquakes. Father God, lift them up, send your angels, surround your angels over them, watch over them. As they, uh, you know, they're they're going through some so much devastation right now, uh, but these are the birth pangs, Father God, that you warned us about in your word. They're not paying attention. They're not listening uh, to the warnings, as uh, you know they should be. We should be paying attention uh, to the warnings, you know. So, Father God, lift them up right now and, um, you know, send your holy angels over them to watch them and protect them, Father God. Uh, Again, I thank you and, uh, you know, as I move forward on this mission, I thank you and, oh, I'm keeping the pressure on the devil, God, because, you know, uh, he's always trying to get in there and shut us down and he's trying to shut me down, sending the minions and attacks after me, but. I don't listen to that. I know you are our Heavenly Father. So I thank you for that. In Jesus' precious name, uh, amen. All right, friends. Well, I better, what do I got going on here? I better get that church riled up. You got to get the church riled up a little bit here, Francis. Hey, we got to be excited about being in this Word, uh, spending some time uh, here. So, like I said, I'm going to jump straight over to the armor of God first. I want to give you that. And, uh, hey, friends, do you have your coffee? Uh, are you ready? Hey, Amen. Now, like I said, friends, I've been working out in the heat all day. And, uh, you know, I kind of chilled out, relaxed a little bit here and got some coffee brewed up, going over my notes here. And Holy Spirit just threw Psalm 17 at me. And so I want to share that with you, of course. Uh, But, uh, yeah, you know, the the pesky devil, you know, he's always a repeater. He always tries to hit us with the same old, tired uh, things constantly over and over again. Uh, But friends, you know, that's why we need our armor. Are you going to listen to that voice or are you going to listen to God's voice? That's the difference. That's the separation there, friends. You got to, you got to separate it out. So, uh, but uh, yeah, he was, you know, he was whispering, hey, don't, don't go on tonight. You need to rest. You're tired. Fooey. The devil can go right back to the pit of hell where he belongs. Amen. All right. Well, let's see. I think I got all the all the uh, dials redone. Like I said, my cat jumped all over. Uh, Miss Esther jumped over and on my microphone and jumped on my mixer and uh, kind of messed up some <laughs> messed up some uh, some dials, some tunage. Uh, but I got it all fixed up and she is resting comfortably like i said in her little vip section back here and uh listening to the word of god friends amen well it is friday friends we uh you know we're going into our weekend so stay tuned i am going to hit all the channels tomorrow so watch over at twitter.com uh world wildlife ministry podcast at twitter and of course you know we got Twitter Periscope Live, we've got uh, YouTube Live, which I am going to get on there one way or the other, uh, now that i got everything kind of dialed in, tuned in, set up, DBs are queued up, uh, take a deep breath, stretch out, grab your coffee, your uh, cocoa, or whatever you happen to be drinking, uh, you know, 
And uh, I think we're ready to go, friends. I think we're ready to head straight into the Bible study. Uh, the daily, uh, what is it? The daily conversations, messages, and new Bible study series continued in the book of Enoch. And uh, boy, oh boy, is that exciting, friends. I, I'm getting so much information and uh, knowledge, revelation, insight, and knowledge in that book. And uh, I'm, I'm just blessed to have it. All right, well, let's uh, turn to Ephesians 6, 10 through 20, if you will. You know, that's a staple on the podcast. I, I could not preach without giving that scripture out to you. Uh, you know, we, we've got to have our armor on, uh, at all times, no matter what, because, uh, you know, the devil is like a thief in the night. He comes to kill, steal, and destroy. And, uh, you, you, I, like I said it a million times, friends, you cannot go into a battle, a spiritual warfare now, get, get this, a spiritual warfare, uh, with a water pistol and saran wrap. It just doesn't happen. So stop trying. You're not going to get any different result if you keep doing that, friends. So I, I'm just here to preach the message and share God's good word as the Spirit hits me. And uh, so, yeah, uh, so we're live. Did I say that already? Probably a dozen times already, but we're live. Podbean. Now, I was going to go on like Anchor or CastBox or something, and I... This we'll we'll do that tomorrow afternoon. Uh, I'll jump over to Anchor and uh, Castbox. Uh, so, friends, you can check us out now. I am finally officially on all the major uh, major podcast channels, uh, you know, including the iTunes and iHeartRadio. These go like directly live on the air, so that is great news. Uh, I thought it was just like I said a upload but uh, apparently it is on the air live simulcast and uh, you know god is good and i keep messing that up it's what all the time god is good and all the time god is or good god is good all the time and all the time god is good there you go i need to write that down uh that needs to go up on the studio wall here uh cuz i keep forgetting how it's out but amen Amen and amen, and just because I can, I'm going to give you another amen, brothers and sisters. So, let's get into it. Armor of God, Ephesians 6, 10 through 20. Where's my notes? Also, don't forget, I'm going to go ahead and take a look at uh, NLT Living Water for those who thirst. Uh, seeking, what is it? Uh, receiving Jesus Christ into your hearts. You know, i got to give you that, friends. Come on now. Uh, all right, now take a deep breath, stretch out, and uh, I hope you have your Bibles with you. You can follow along. So go ahead and go over to uh, Ephesians 6, 10 uh, through 20 out. Uh, now, I'm going to be going out of the uh, King James like I do. Uh, so, friends, uh, it's on, right? It's on, friends. Amen. All right. I had to get that copy. Well... You know what the whole armor of God here is, friends. So uh, let's let's just jump right into it, friends. A little after eleven on a Friday night, we are here live on air, simulcasting our podcast tonight, the Friday Night Message Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast. Pastor Rick Brown here live, Podbean, Spreaker, and a whole lot more, friends. So uh, let's get into the message, friends. Amen. All right, Ephesians 6, 10 through 20. Finally, my brethren and sisters, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against the powers, and against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against uh, spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all to stand, stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, 
and having on the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shod of the preparation of the gospel of peace above all taking the shield of faith wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked now here's some homework for you you know i always throw something out at you uh, so like i said i hope you have your pens papers notebook tablets uh highlighters um you know and uh your pens and papers right amen first peter 5 8 9 for your adversary the devil walks about like a roaring lion seeking whom he may desire may dis what destroy not desire mercy me we shall not desire the enemy uh but uh you know he comes in there to uh you know like a like a roaring lion seeking whom he may destroy Ah, mercy. It's been a long day, friends. Uh, you know, it always is. Uh, working on the notes, getting the podcast out, answering email messages, uh, setting all the stuff up. You know, but God gives me the strength, friends. And uh, again, that's what I, you know, kind of what's going on in between the gaps uh, of the podcast, the, the days in between stuff. I try to get on here every day. You know, and like I said, we're still upgrading our blog talk radio, uh, praying on financial uh, donations, blessings, uh, PayPal set up. But uh, so that is kind of, you know, that's about right. Kind of why the, uh, why the, a little bit of a gap here. Now, that's why I said I was going to get on uh, way earlier. But, uh, you know, taking care of some things and, uh, you know, of course, my cat uh, jumping on everything and pulling kind of the cords apart, so I had to redo that. But that's all right. You know, bless her heart. She's uh, just a baby and hanging out. So, uh, so friends, uh, again, thank you guys so much for your support. And I know I say it a million times, probably way too much. Uh, I know these are different. Uh, they're not your usual podcast. But... Again, friends, this is the way the Spirit gave it to me, and uh, I'm just, you know, I'm learning. It's It's been a while, but I'm still kind of in a training process. I know God's got me training for something much bigger. And so, hey, we got to be in the trenches, friends, seeking after God. Uh, and so, you know, I, I'm looking at the bigger picture. I'm looking at the long run as we are more than conquerors. Amen. All right, well, let's finish out uh, the armor of God. So your homework is going to be 1 Peter 5, 8, 9. Uh, in verse 17, And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which we know is the word of God, uh, our Bible, of course. Yeah, amen. Uh, praying always uh, with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints. Amen. And for me, that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in bonds, and that therein I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. And you can take a look here, friends, over at Romans 10, 9, 21. Amen. Well, there you go. Well, I think, friends, I just want to kind of acknowledge my... Uh, my friends here, I don't want to do too long, but I, I want to definitely get into Psalm 17 here before the podcast. So, but uh, yeah, I got some great friends, great support uh, all over the world, you know, and you guys know who you are. I appreciate you so much, and I thank you guys for, uh, you know, just getting this message out and just, I, I see the numbers, watching the numbers, that is, that is really awesome and uh, really amazing. Uh, you know, well, God makes it happen, friends. It's all God. It's not me. I'm just, you know, I, I'm just doing what God told me to do. So, uh, thank you guys uh, all over the, all over the world. I'm just looking at the YouTube channel here. Uh, I pulled that up for the monitor here to see what's going on. And, uh, man, is that cool. That is so awesome. Uh well, friends, all my family, friends, visitors, you know, of course the visitors, uh, I thank you guys for that, all of the pages, channels, all over the world, 
uh, how awesome and uh, that is really good. Thank you so much again. My sister Sophie over at Swi in Switzerland on my CBN. Uh, man, that is cool. Going to school, getting uh, some degrees here and, uh, you know, making so much progress. And uh, sister, that is so awesome. Amen. And she's actually uh, just got an email message from her yesterday and uh, she was heading off to Ibiza, Spain. How cool is that? So uh, that is good. Keep it up, uh, my sister, and uh, you know, don't let the enemy, uh, you know, throw you off. Miss Kitty, thank you so much for getting in there, and uh, you know, I always uh, appreciate your messages and conversations. So thank you again, Pastor Oni in Japan and Midori. Thank you, Kadichiwa Domo Regato, my friends. Amen. Of course, friends. Now you guys can check these. Messages out anytime over at Facebook. Uh, Brother Mark at the Facebook page, the Christian Watchers of the 2017-2024 Solar Eclipses Group. Now, I know that's a mouthful, but uh, check it out, friends. So you can get these messages daily. And, uh, you know, uh, so yes, we're on all the pages, friends, even Facebook. Amen, Brother Mark. Thanks so much, and I'll get in touch with you later. Uh, but thanks again for, uh, you know, posting these up there. And, uh, man, I hope somebody, hope somebody's listening to it. You know, that's all right. Uh, they're, they're there. They're available anytime, 24-7. And uh, so uh, I, I just thank you for giving me a format there. That's awesome. Well, we got our pastor's collection here now. Uh, pastor Rodney Francis ministries out in New Zealand. Uh, and you guys can check that podcast out on all the channels. It's all available, all of the, like all the pages I have. Uh, Repentance, a message from the church. And I'm going to be bringing that back up here in the next few weeks. So you guys can check that out. Miss Jackie at Twitter Periscope Live. Doing that midnight scope, friends, Monday through Sunday. And uh, I'm telling you, friends, if you really want to hear uh, some good power prayers and messages and, uh, you know, just being in that being in that um, spirit, Miss Jackie, check it out, friends. Thank you so much, Miss Jackie. I'll be in touch soon. Amen. Of course, praying always for Miss Jada Franson uh, back at YouTube. Ah, uh, God is good, friends. She made it through and uh, is now uh, starting some new campaign. So uh, check it out, friends. Amen. Well, you know, Pastor Craig is getting his house in order, getting the, uh, you know, the messages and uh, just hearing what the Holy Spirit's telling him. Inner Peace uh, Revival Ministries uh, available on all platforms. And, uh, so just hang on and, uh, have some patience, friends, because all oh, he's, I'm telling you, he's, this is going to be good. Uh, all right. So our pastor, like I said, a pastor collection here, Pastor J. David Ford and his wife, Rose, K195.5 FM, Power Radio in NS, Texas, uh, over at my CBN iTunes, Spotify, and so many more. Friends, go check it out. Internet Radio Live and the Bible College to boot. Amen. All the way out, like I said, in Annis, Texas. Pastor Michael Holcomb at uh, Bible Days Ministries, uh, iHeartRadio, and more. So go check that out. Man, what a, what a powerhouse that is. That's so cool. Uh, so many... Uh, so many uh, friends. Amen. All right. Getting some notes squared up here. All right, Miss Tiffany Blackwell Ministries over at Facebook, YouTube, and, and a ton more friends. Great uh, messages. That's so, so good. Miss Tiffany's just a spitfire for the Lord, friends. You got to go scope it out. Well, Again, our newest friends, our newest uh, family members right over here at our Spreaker channel. Radio Piacenza all the way out in Romana, Italy. Well, that is really cool. And I did not expect that. But, uh, hey, like I said, God move, uh, moves mountains and makes it happen, right? 
Uh, of course, uh, now our all my sisters at uh, in Christ here in the social media all over the world uh, throwing their messages out and support. That's awesome. Uh, Miss Christina, Susan, Laura, Carla for the use of the laptop. And of course, my brother Craig for the use of two. And of course, all my family, my sisters all over the world, friends. All right. Well, let's see what we've got going on in the menu. Ah, uh, mercy. Uh, what a day, what a day, my friends. All right, so, hang on, hang on, I dumped my phone over. All right. I have a short microphone cord and uh, for the second channel. Well, I'm going to get some coffee. Go to your Bibles. Uh, we're going to take a look at Psalm 17 out of the King James. Yes, let's see. Wrapped up in cable lines here. Oh, mercy. Psalm 17, uh, a plea for God's protection as we take a look at the King James Version Bible. And... Uh, Hang on, what's going on? Amen. Now, don't forget, sometime after 3 o'clock, friends, tomorrow, Saturday, I'll be doing the first service message live on YouTube uh, sometime after 3, 3.30, something like that. And uh, as I just didn't get a chance to get on there today, and uh, so I'm just going to do the uh, audio podcast tonight and uh, then tomorrow afternoon uh, I'll be back actually uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hit up the uh, uh, the message well yeah I continue to hear on the YouTube live first podcast will be in the afternoon at YouTube live and then later on in the evening I'll be jumping back here to Spreaker uh, doing a double ch uh, a double shot weekend podcast message both Saturday and Sundays, uh, two thirty three o'clock Saturday and then two thirty uh, on Sundays, and then again later on that night about seven o'clock. Hopefully seven o'clock sounds uh, great. All right, so let's get into it, friends. Let's have a Bible study. Pull up your easy chair, grab your coffee. Your, uh, you know, your battle gear here, because we, you know, like I said, we're in a spiritual battle every single day, and uh, we need to be in that word every day, uh, friends, and uh, no doubt, you know, you see what's going on in the world, friends, we're in it, but we're not of it, as we are passers-by, we're travelers, amen, so I'm going to hit 16 real quick. I just was looking at that. I'm like, no, we better we better take a look at this too. Uh, so bear with me here, friends. Amen. All right. Let me highlight it. Let me get the, the notes together here. And uh, as I was just reading 17, the spirit kind of just shifted me over uh, back. Now, I was going to do Job or uh, Proverbs or something here. And I, uh, I'll do that tomorrow. Because, like I said, the spirit shifts me, and I got to move on time. Amen. For the for uh, for the spirit and stuff here. So, well, let's take a look at 16 then, right? Let's just shift on over to chapter 16 here. Uh, amen. And then, of course, you know, we're going to get into the book of Enoch here. I got so much to give you. Like I said, I'm always, always jam-packed the excellent in uh in whom is all my delight their sorrows shall be multiplied that hasten or hasten after another god their drink offerings of blood will i not offer nor take up their names into my lips exodus twenty-three thirteen. the lord is the portion of my of mine inheritance and of my cup thou maintainest my lot Deuteronomy 32 9 remember the side scriptures here I will bless the oh let's see back up here just a second here in verse 6 the lions are fallen unto me in pleasant places yea I have 
uh, a godly heritage. I will bless the Lord who hath given me counsel. My reins also instruct me in the night seasons. I have set the Lord always before me because he is at my right hand. I shall not be moved. Psalm 15, 5. Therefore, my heart is glad and my glory rejoices, rejoiceth. My flesh also rest in hope. Psalm 30 and 12. For thou wilt not leave my soul in hell, neither wilt thou uh, suffer thine holy one to see corruption. Thou wilt shew me the path of life. Uh, in thy presence is fullness of joy. At the right hand there are pleasures forevermore. Psalm 17, 5. All right, let me get caught up here for a second. And uh, move to 17 here. Um, hang on here, friends. All right. Chapter 17. Hear the rites, O Lord, attend unto my cry. Give ear unto my prayer that goeth not out of feigned lips. Let my sentence come forth from the presence, or thy presence. Let thine eyes behold the things that are equal. Thou hast proved mine heart. Thou hast visited me in the night. Thou hast tried me and shalt find nothing. I am supposed or purposed that my mouth shall not transgress. Concerning the works of men by the word of thy lips, I have kept me from the paths of the destroyer. Oh, man. So I hope you're taking notes here, friends. Hold up my goings in thy paths, that my footsteps slip not. I have called upon thee, for thou wilt hear me, O God. Incline thine ear unto me, and hear my speech. Shew thy marvelous loving kindness, O thou, that savest by thy right hand from our hand, them which put their trust in thee from those that rise up against them. Psalm thirty-one twenty-one. Keep me as the apple of the eye. Hide me under the shadow of thy wings. Deuteronomy 32, 10. Uh, and uh, Psalm 36, 7. Also Psalm 91, of course. Uh, from the, the wicked that oppress me, for my deadly enemies who compass me about, they are enclosed in their own Fat with their mouth they speak proudly. Deuteronomy thirty two fifteen and Psalm thirty one eighteen. Uh, they have now compassed us in our steps. They have set their eyes bowing down to the earth, like as a lion that is greedy of his prey. And is it or as it were a young lion lurking in his secret places? Arise, O Lord, disappoint him, cast him down. Deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. From men, uh, which are thy hand, O Lord. From men of the world, which have their portion in this life, and whose belly thou fillest with thy hid treasure. They are full of children, and leave the rest of their substance to their babes. Psalm seventy-three, twelve. Uh, as for me, I will behold thy face of right, in righteousness. I shall be satisfied when I wake with thy likeness. Mercy, those are good. All right, friends. So how about, why don't we go ahead and take a look over here. Uh, let's go ahead and continue just into verse uh, 18, chapter 18 here. I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. Uh, let's see. Now let's go back up to my notes here, friends. I, I got this in here too. Now, the Psalm of David, the servant of the Lord, who spake unto, unto the Lord the words of this song in the day that the Lord delivered him from the hand of all his enemies and from the hand of Saul. And he said, 
I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. Psalm 144, verse 1. The Lord is my rock. Amen. We can relate to that, right? The Lord is our rock. My fortress and my deliverer. My God, my strength, in whom I will trust. My buckler and the horn of my salvation. And my high tower. Hang on here, friends. Lots of extra notes here. Now, you're going to find something like this over here in Hebrews 2.13. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from mine enemies. Psalm 76.4. The sorrows of death compassed me and the floods of ungodly men made me afraid. Uh, Sleeping monitors. Mercy. All right. Uh, let's see. Now, let me go back up. I just got to go back up and do this again. Verse 3. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised, so shall I be saved from mine enemies in Psalm 76, 4. The sorrows of death compassed me, and the floods of ungodly men made me afraid. The sorrows of hell compassed me. About the snares of the of death prevented me on the cord here. In my distress, I called upon the Lord and cried unto my God. He heard my voice out of his temple, and my cry came before him, even into his ears. Then the earth shook and trembled, the foundations also of the hills moved and were shaken, because he was wroth. In Acts four thirty one. There went up a smoke out of his nostrils, and a fire of his mouth devoured. Coals were kindled by it. Oh, mercy. All right, so hang on here, friends. All right, just give me a second. All right, there we go. So, we're in verse 9. He bowed. Or bowed the heavens also and came down, and darkness was under his feet. Psalm 144, verse 5. And he rode upon a cherub and did fly. Yea, he did fly upon the wings of the wind. He made darkness his secret place. His pavilion round about him were dark waters and thick clouds of the skies. Psalm 97, 2. At the brightness that was before him in his thick clouds, Past hailstones and coals of fire. Psalm 97, verse 3. Now, this is a long book here, friends, so hang on here. Now, the Lord also thundered in the heavens, and the highest gave his voice, hailstones and coals of fire. Yea, he sent out his arrows and scattered them, and he shot out lightnings and discomfited them. Then the channels of waters were seen, and the foundations of the world were discovered. At thy rebuke, O Lord, at the blast of the breath of thy nostrils. Exodus 15, 8. He sent from above, he took me, he drew me out of many waters. He delivered me from my strong enemy and from them which hated me. For they were too strong for me. They prevented me in the day of my calamity, but the Lord was my stay. He brought me forth also into a large place, and he delivered me because he delighted in me. The Lord rewarded me according to my righteousness, according to the, clean, uh, the cleanness of my hands, half he recompensed me. For I have kept the ways of the Lord and have not wickedly departed from my God. For all his judgments were before me, and I did not put away his statutes from me. I was also upright before him, and I kept myself from my iniquity. Therefore, hath the Lord recompensed me according to my righteousness and according to the cleanness of my hands in his eyesight. With the merciful thou wilt shew thyself merciful. With an upright man thou wilt shoot thyself upright. 1 Kings 8.32 With a pure thou wilt shew thyself pure. And with a froward thou wilt shew thyself froward. For thou wilt save the afflicted people, but wilt bring down high looks. Psalm 101, verse 5. 
For thou wilt light my candle, the Lord my God will enlighten my darkness. Job 18.6 For by thee I have run through a troop, and by my God have I leapt over a wall, or broken the wall. As for God, his way is perfect. Amen. The word of the Lord is tried. He is a buckler to all those that trust in him. For who is God save the Lord? Or who is a rock save our God? It is God that girdeth me with strength and maketh my way perfect. He maketh my feet like hinds feet and seateth or setteth me upon my high places. Deuteronomy 32, 13. He teaches my hands to war so that I, or that a bow of steel or a bow of steel is broken by mine arms. Psalm 144, 1. Thou hast also given me the shield of thy salvation, and the right hand hath holden me up, and the gentleness hath made me great. Thou hast enlarged my steps under me, that my feet did not slip. I have persu- uh, pursued mine enemies and overtaken them, neither did I turn again till they were consumed. I have wounded them, that they were not able to rise. They are all, all fallen under my feet. Uh, for thou hast girded me with strength. And hold on, making sure my computers don't s- fall asleep here. Uh, under my feet here. So 39. For thou hast girded me with strength under the battle. Thou hast subdued under those that rose up against me. Thou hast also given me the necks of mine enemies, that I might destroy them that hate me. They cried, but there was none to save them, even unto the Lord. But he answered them not. Job 27, 9. Then did I beat them small as the dust before the wind. I cast them out as the dirt in the streets. Thou hast delivered me from the strivings of the people, and thou hast made me the head of the heathen, a people whom I have uh, not known shall serve me. As soon as they hear of me, they shall obey obey me, and the strangers shall submit themselves unto me. The strangers shall feed, uh, fade away and be afraid out of their close places. The Lord liveth, and blessed be my rock, and let the God of my salvation be exalted. It is God that avengeth me and subdueth the people under me. He delivered me. Uh, from mine enemies, yea, thou lifted or liftest me up above those that rise against me, and those thou hast delivered me from the violent man. Psalm 59 and 1. Therefore will I give thanks unto thee, O Lord, among the heathen, and sing praises unto thy name. Great deliverance giveth to his king, and sheweth mercy to his anointed. To David and to the seed, or his seed, evermore. Second Samuel seven thirteen. Wow, friends, Amen. I know that's a lot to take in, but I told you, friends, when the spirit hits me on something, I really just got to go forward with it. Uh, for sure, I really can't just like no, I don't feel like reading it because it's too long and people aren't going to want to listen to it. Uh, so. Uh, that's like I said, friends, this is really why I kind of just get hit with the spirit. The spirit tells me, Hey, you need to go ahead and go into this. Uh, so as I was talking, as I was doing that, uh, listen, the spirit has shifted me again, friends. We're going to go over to chapter, uh, Isaiah chapter 41, uh, Let's see where we're at here with this. Uh, Let's go ahead and go over to um, chapter 4 here, friends. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Hang hang on here, friends. Uh, Man. Uh, I can hardly ever keep up with the Spirit. He just throws so much at me and says, No, this is where you got to go. You got to go over here. Uh, so we're not going to read back too far, but here, friends, I wanted to go. We're in chapter 40. 
uh, chapter 40. And um, let me go ahead and go. I'm going to kind of jump around here a little bit. But we're in chapter 40, book of Isaiah. Comfort ye, comfort ye, my people, saith your God. Speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem and cry unto her that her warfare is accomplished, that her iniquity is pardoned, for she hath received of the Lord's hand double for all her sins. The voice of him that crieth in the wilderness, preparest ye the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Uh, Psalm 68, verse 4. Every valley shall be exalted, and every mountain and hill shall be made low, and the crooked shall be made straight, and the rough places plain. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see it together. For the mouth of the Lord hath spoken it. The voice said, Cry. And he said, What shall I cry? All flesh is grass, and all the goodliness thereof is as of the flower of the field. In Job 14.2, the grass withereth. Now, this should be one of your memory verses, friends. You should know this. Uh, That's why I get shifted by the Spirit all the time. Amen. I know it. I know it's the Spirit. Amen. The grass withereth, the flower fadeth, because the Spirit of the Lord bloweth upon it, Surely the people is grass. All right. Now the grass withereth, the flower fadeth, but the word of our God shall stand forever. And can I get an amen witness? Oh, they're all back. They're on the feet. They're here. They hear what the Spirit is saying to them. Just wanted to see if you're still awake here, friends. All right, let's go ahead and jump down here, friends. Like I said, this just hit me. Uh, Just kind of keeping up with my notes here. So, as we look at 9... O Zion, that bringest good tidings, get thee up into the high mountains. O Jerusalem, that bringest good tidings, lift up thy voice with strength. Lift it up. Be not afraid, say unto the cities of Judah. Behold your God. Amen. Behold the Lord God will come with strong hand. Uh, hang on, I'm back in, backtracking here just a second. Uh, where was I? What did I do? Oh, yeah, in 10. Behold, the Lord God will come with strong hand in his, uh, in his uh, or and his arm shall rule for him. Behold, his reward is with him and his work before him. Isaiah 59 and 16. He shall feed his flock like a shepherd. He shall gather the lambs with his arms and carry them in his bosom and shall gently lead those that are with young. Oh, man. I haven't read these scriptures in a while uh, because I've just been working on the book of Enoch here. Now, 12, who hath measured the waters in the hollow of his hand and meted out heaven uh, with, uh, with a span and comprehended the dust of the earth in a measure and weighed the mountains and scales and hills in a balance? Uh, mercy. All right, now listen, I'm not going to go ahead and go through all that. You guys got homework? There you go. You're going to get into the Word, my friends, and you're going to well, well, we'll go ahead and just read all of 40. Uh, that sounds like a good plan. Be in your uh, Word here, friends. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and jump all the way back over here uh, to, uh, where are we at? Uh, uh, Let's go ahead and jump over to uh, 28. Hast thou not known, hast thou not heard that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, 
Uh, neither is weary. That's a question. I kind of got to read these. You know, I try to read these as, as I am reading them out of the King James Version. Uh, you know, lots of these and thous in there. And uh, so I'm, I'm learning, friends. I am in training. So, hang on again, friends. All right. So, here we go, friends. So, uh, in 28, hast thou not known, hast thou not heard, that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. Psalm 147, verse 5. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no uh, might, he increaseth strength. Even the youths, the youths shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Friends, hear it, hear it. This is why I want to hear. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. Well, friends, there you go. I knew that's why we were going there. Um... All right, well, there you go, friends. Uh, let's see. I yeah, I could. I told you I can do these nine, ten hours a day, twelve hours a day, and still have more, you know, more uh, material, more you know, spirit-led scriptures to give you. Uh, but I want to make sure. Uh, let's see. All right, all right. So we better, man. Oh, man, friends. I'm telling you. Um, let me go back over to six real quick. I want to jump here because I want to make sure I get all this in time here. So, chapter 41, verse 6. They helped every one of his neighbor, or everyone his neighbor, and everyone said to his brother, Be of good courage. Um, so, that, you know, they're talking about the carpenter, the goldsmith, the, you know, hammer and stuff here. This is the book of Isaiah, friends, chapter 40. So, check it out. Let's see, friends. I'm trying to maneuver my, my Bibles and stuff here. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Uh oh, hold on, friends. Uh, mercy. All right, hold on just a second here. All right. Looks like we're still recording. That's good news. As I pulled my cord, I accidentally dropped over my my phone here so I'm recording live over at podbean.com and uh, like I said I I am battling uh, space issues I don't have enough room I, everything's just kind of crammed in there and kind of uh, jumbled around here so uh, but it looks like it's still on all right looks like we're still on so as I was putting my Bible away I dropped. It just wasn't good. All right. So give me just a quick second here, friends. All right. As I was going into Job yesterday, and then for some reason, well, I don't, I know why, friends. I just, I know why. It's the Spirit shifting me around here. Uh, amen. All right. Well, like I said, I'm just maneuvering real quick here. All right. So I'm going to give you this here, friends. We're approaching our hour here. And uh, I want to make sure I get this out. So I'm going to jump over to the NLT Living Water for those who thirst. Uh, receiving Jesus Christ into your heart. You know I've been giving you this uh, every podcast. I have to. Uh, I've got to get this out. I've got to make sure, you know, hey, there's a shepherd. I've got to make sure that, uh, you know, we, we cover all these scriptures here. Amen. So receiving Jesus Christ into your heart. 
If you're ready to turn from your sins and believe in Jesus Christ so that you can receive the forgiveness of sin and the hope of eternal life, then take a moment to bow your head, friends, and pray this prayer. Just breathe it out. Let the Word of God soak into your hearts, friends. Amen. God, I'm sorry for my sin. I turn from it right now. I thank you for sending Jesus Christ to die on the cross for my sin. And Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart and my life right now. Be my Lord, Savior, and friend. Help me to follow you all the days of my life as your disciple. And thank you for forgiving me or forgiving and receiving me right now. Thank you that my sin is forgiven, that I am going to heaven. In Jesus' precious name, the blood that he spilled for us, my friends. Amen. I pray. Amen. Mercy, friends, that is deep. And, uh, you know, you just got to be honest, friends. So, you know, like I said, I got something else for you. I didn't just get to stop right there. I got some more for you. Redirecting your life over to Jesus Christ here. Now, friends, perhaps you're already a Christian, but you have strayed from Jesus Christ, and you have become a, or have been a prodigal son or daughter. God will forgive you right now, and if you will return to him. He tells us in the word here, friends, Jeremiah 3.22, if you would like to return to God and redirect your life to him right now, you may want to pray something like this. God, I am sorry for my sin. I am sorry that I have strayed from you. Uh, I ask you to forgive me now as I repent of my sin. I don't want to live like a prodigal any longer. Renew and revive me once, as I once again follow you as my God. Thank you for your forgiveness. In Jesus' name we pray. Hang on. Sleeping pot monitors here. So, if you looked over at Jeremiah 3.22, friends, he says, My wayward children, come back to me, and I will heal your wayward hearts. Amen. See, you got it right there. So, get a hold of me. Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast. Pastor Rick Riley here live. Uh, of course, you know, over at yahoo.com. Amen. Uh, man, we're already in an hour, friends. Can you believe that already? All right, now let's continue with the message here. Whether you prayed to make a first-time commitment or a recommitment, you have made the right decision. God has forgiven and received you, if you really meant it. Uh, Know that your relationship with Jesus Christ will bring radical and dramatic changes in your life. Describing this, the Bible says anyone who belongs to Christ has become a new person, new creation. Or a new creature, uh, creature there. The old life is gone. A new life has begun. Second Corinthians 5.17 Now that is great news, my family. But more importantly, God has changed your eternal destiny. Instead of fearing an eternal punishment in a place called hell, you will spend peaceful eternity in his presence in heaven. Man, that is good. All right, so go back over a couple quick notes here. Uh, did that one? I'm just double checking my notes here. I want to make sure I don't um, miss anything. We can't miss anything. All right, so we are set, friends. Amen. And, of course, I got a fly buzzing around in the studio. Uh, Man, oh, man, friends. Well, it's Friday. It's Saturday. It's going into Saturday morning. Amen. A little after midnight here on the uh, barn studios. (laughs) Amen. You know, uh, just getting this word out, friends. Glad you guys are here. And uh, I'm going to be trying to hit this message tomorrow. Uh, so uh, we'll be back. Well, I'll be back at YouTube Live sometime in the afternoon, friends. Like I said, a lot of construction, a lot of noise and distraction going on out here. But uh, hey, we're getting it done. We're getting it cleaned up, and uh, that's good news. So 
uh, lots of uh, lots of stuff going on. All right, so bear with me for a quick second here, friends. I just want to. I'm trying to update uh, real quick. Um, I want to uh, update tomorrow. I'll be hitting double shots tomorrow, friends. Anyway, it's going to be exciting. Always is. Always, always, always. No problem. And um, let's see. So bear with me here, friends. I am trying to keep concentrating. Uh, as I take a look here, friends, we're going to jump into the book of Enoch. I'm excited about that, friends. So let me maneuver my, my mic here. And... Uh, we will get into the uh, book of Enoch here, friends. Amen. So, hang on here, friends. All right. Um, just a second here, friends. All right. Let me get some background here going on, friends. You know our church is still here. We're hanging out. So, uh, <laughs> uh, 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 All right. And what else do I got on there? Oh, yeah, this is. Uh, this is I'm still here, friends, just dealing with slow Wi-Fi and Internet connection here. <laughs> Amen. All right. So that's done, friends. We're going to take a look here at Chapter 96. Uh, can you believe that, friends? Like I said, uh, jumping right through here. And, um, yeah. It's good stuff here, friends. Good stuff. All right. So tomorrow, friends, already today, actually, I got to say, uh, we're already uh, in our Saturday, going into our Saturday podcast here. And that's great. All right. So give me another quick second here, friends. Trying to get a couple of updates uh, out of the way um, as they just popped up on my screen. Uh, and uh, I was like, whoops, uh, uh, man, <laughs> friends. All right, again, sorry about the distraction here. Uh, just so much uh, happening here, friends. So go ahead and, you know, go uh, get your coffee, get your Bibles ready. Uh, as, uh, you know, we take a look at the notes here. And, um uh, as I jump into uh, the book of Enoch, that is great. All right. Well, I think I'm almost ready, friends. Uh, I think I'm almost just about ready here. So remember, friends, double shot 
tomorrow I'll be hitting YouTube live uh, first, probably about 3.30, and then back here at Spreaker about 7 uh, or 7.30. depends, like I said, with the interference and the Wi-Fi connections and, uh, you know, Internet and all that and the weather and stuff and, you know, but you know what? God's God's good, friends. He'll take care of that. He he want, I know God wants this message out. Amen, friends. So let's get into chapter 96 in the book of Enoch here. The righteous, friends, uh, let me maneuver my mic again. The righteous are confident that sinners will be disgraced and perish in the day of iniquity. You shall yourselves be conscious of it, for El Elyon will remember your destruction, and the angels shall rejoice over it. What will you do, sinners? And where will you fly in the day of judgment, when you shall hear the words of the prayer of the righteous? You are not like them, who in the respect uh, witnesses against you. You are an associate of sinners. In those days shall the prayers of the righteous come up before Yahuwah, when the day of your judgment shall arrive, and every circumstance of your iniquity uh, be related before the great and the holy one, your faces shall be covered with shame, while every deed strength ended by crime shall be rejected. Woe unto you sinners who in the midst of the sea and on dry land and those against whom an evil record exists. Woe to you who squander silver and gold, not obtained in righteousness, and say, We are rich, possess wealth, and have acquired everything which we can desire. Now then, will we do whatsoever we are disposed to do? For we have amassed silver, our barns are full, and the husbandmen of our families are like overflowing waters. Like water shall be your falsehood pass away, for your wealth will not be permanent, but shall suddenly ascend from you because you have obtained all, uh, at all, let's see, uh, iniquitously, to extreme malediction shall you be delivered up. And now I swear to you, crafty as well as simple ones, that you... Often contemplating the earth, you men clothe yourselves more elegantly than married women, and both together more so than a woman and more colored than a girl. Uh, everywhere in majesty and magnificence, magnificence, there we go. I know that's a tough word to try to pronounce here. Uh, in authority and in silver, but gold, purple, honor, and wealth like water flow away. All right, hang on here, guys. I lost my pen. Mercy, I got a whole box of them and I keep losing them. All right. Amen. It shall flow away. Uh,. Erudition, therefore, and wisdom are not theirs. Thus shall they perish together with their riches, with all their glory and with their honors, while with disgrace, with slaughter, and extreme penury shall their ruhachets be thrust into a furnace of fire. I have sworn to you, sinners, that neither mountain nor hill has been uh, or shall be subservient to women, subservient to women. Neither in this way has crime been set down to us upon earth, but men of their own heads have invented it, and greatly shall those who give it efficiency be execrated. Barrenness should not or shall not be previously inflicted on women. Now watch this, friends. Uh, again, Book of Enoch, chapter 96. Barrenness shall not be previously inflicted on women, but on account of the work of her hands shall she die childless. I have sworn to you, sinners, by the Holy and the Great One, that all your evil deeds are disclosed in the heavens, 
and none of your oppressive acts are concealed and secret. Think not in your minds. All right, let's take a look at that again. Think not in your minds, neither say in your heart or hearts that every crime is not manifested and seen in heaven. It is daily written down before El Elyon. Henceforward shall it be manifested. For every act of oppression which you commit shall be daily recorded. This gives you something to think about, right, friends? Uh, until the period of your condemnation. Woe to you, simple ones. For you shall perish in your simplicity. To the wise, you will not listen, and that which is good you shall not obtain. Now, therefore, know that you are destined to the day of destruction, nor hope the sinner shall live, but in process of time you shall die. For you are not marked for redemption, but are destined to the day of the great judgment, to the day of distress and the extreme monogamy, uh, ignominy of your souls. Woe to you, obdurate in heart, who commit crime and feed on blood. Whence do you feel or feed on good things, drink and are uh, satiated? It is not because our Adonai Elion has abundantly supplied every good thing upon earth to you. There shall not be peace. Woe to you who love the deeds of iniquity. Why do you hope for that which is good? Know that you shall be given up in the hands of the righteous, who shall cut off your necks, slay you, and show you no compassion. That's pretty graphic stuff there, isn't it, friends? Mercy. Woe to you who rejoice in the trouble of the righteous, for a grave shall not be dug for you. Woe to you who frustrate the word of the righteous, for to you there shall be no hope of life. Woe to you who write down the word of falsehood and the word of the wicked, for the falsehood they record that uh, they may hear and not forget folly. To them there shall be no peace but they shall surely die suddenly. Man, friends, we better we got to get our house in order, don't we? We need to we need to make sure our names are written down in the Lamb's book of life, right? Uh cuz uh man, I don't know about you friends, but that is uh you know, like I said, uh, Enoch is a prophet. Uh he was one of the first prophets that prophesied. Over a couple of quick things. All right. So I was supposed to go on YouTube and rant today. Friends. All right, there's the playback here. I'm just listening to make sure the volume's still going going good. Um, but yeah, we better we got to get our house in order, friends. We need to repent uh, of whatever it is, you know, our iniquities and our sins. We need to repent, and make sure that uh, you know, like I said, our names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Because friends, we're in the end days, as the evangelist says on the, you know, YouTube. You can catch her over there. Uh, we are in the the, the end times. Uh, Evangelist Nita Fuentes, friends, go check her out. She's on YouTube, and uh, you know the uh, emo app or something like that. But go check her out. Uh, man, she's preaching some fire and brimstone there. For good stuff, warnings, messages, friends. That's why we we gotta we like I said, we gotta make sure our our houses are in order. Uh, gotta get right with God, right? Right with Jesus, Amen. Right with God, Amen. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at 97 here. Woe to them who act impiously, who laud and honor the word of the false or of falsehood. You have been lost in perdition and have never led a virtuous life. Woe to you who change the words of, to, of integrity. They transgress against the eternal Torah and cause the heads of those who are not sinners to be trodden down upon the earth. In those days, you, O righteous shall have been deemed worthy of having your prayers rise up in remembrance and shall have deposited them in testimony before the angels. They have made record 
the signs of the sinners in the presence of El Elyon. In those days the nations shall be overthrown, but the families of the nations shall rise again in the day of perdition. In those days, in those days, who become pregnant shall go forth, carry off their children, and forsake them. Their offspring shall slip from them, and while suckling them shall they forsake them. They shall never return to them, and never inst instruct their beloved. Again, I swear to you sinners, the crime has been prepared for the day of blood. Which never ceases. They shall worship stones and engrave, uh, engrave golden, silver, and wooden images. False gods, false idols. They shall worship in pure ruhachet, devils, and every idol in temples. But uh, no help shall be obtained for them. Their hearts shall become impious through their folly, and their eyes be blinded with the fear of their hearts. In their visionary dreams shall they be impious and superstitious, lying in all their actions, and worshiping a stone. Altogether shall they perish, but in those days blessed shall they be. <coughs> to whom... The sword of wisdom is delivered. Who point out the pursue and pursue the path of El Elyon. Who walk in the way of righteousness and who act not impiously with the impious. Oh, man. All right. Give me another second here. All right. They shall be saved. Woe to you who expand the crime of your neighbor. For in Sheol shall they be slain. And woe to you who lay the foundation of sin and deceit. And who are bitter on earth. For on it shall you be consumed. Woe to you who build your houses of the labor of others. Uh, the, the labor by the labor of others. All right. Had a little bit of a, uh, kind of my pen kind of smeared out a little bit. And uh, I've been having some issues with that. All right. Give me another quick second here, friends. Trying to make sure the notes are, you know, uh, the way they should be so that you guys get the uh, correct information. So, I'll go back over 13 again. Woe to you who build your houses by the labor of others. Every part which is constructed with brick and with a stone of crime. I tell you that you shall not obtain peace. Woe to you who despise the extent of the everlasting inheritance of your fathers. While your souls follow after idols, for to you there shall be no tranquility. Uh, woe to them who commit iniquity and give aid to blasphemy, who slay their neighbor until the day of the great judgment. For your glory shall fall. Uh, malevolence shall be put into your hearts, and the ruhak, or spirit, of his wrath shall stir you up, and that every one of you may perish by the sword. Then shall all the righteous and the holy remember your crimes. All right, I think I'm going to end at 99 here, friends. I'm going to go ahead and uh, just close out with this. Uh, I try to keep it under an hour and a half, but sometimes it just doesn't happen. But uh, let's go ahead and look at 98 here. In those days shall fathers be uh, struck down with their children in the presence of each other, and brethren with their brethren uh, shall fall dead until a river shall flow from their blood. 
For a man shall not restrain his hand from his children or from his children's children. His mercy will be uh, to kill him. That's deep. There's some deep stuff going on in this book. Nor shall the sinner restrain his hand from the honored brother. From the dawn of the day to the setting sun shall be slaughter continue. The horse shall wade up to his breast and the chariot shall sink to its axle in the blood of sinners. Good grief, my friends. All right, so we're going to stop at 99. And uh, just a few more chapters, friends. I told you, we're not, no, I'm not going to be kind of rushing through this to try to figure it out or, you know, just to get it done. Uh, we are definitely, definitely uh, going to take our time at this because uh, I just have to. I can't, uh, uh, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't be a good teacher. I wouldn't be a you know, good shepherd if I just kind of speed raced through stuff. Uh, just, just to do it, you know, this isn't some kind of race, uh, where I, I've got to, you know, I could, like, I'm trying to make you guys feel like, feel like, oh, I gotta get it, I gotta get it really quick and understand it fast, I can't do that, that's not the way the Spirit gave that to me, uh, so just a slow, methodical Bible study, uh, and, um, you know, so I gotta understand it too. If I don't understand, how am I gonna explain it to you? You know. So uh, anyway, that's that's kind of where I'm at. You know, with that stuff, friends. Uh, so I just want to make sure I really kind of take my time through it and uh, get it out to you. All right. So. All right, that, make sure I got the right book. Yep, that's it. All right, friends. Uh, anyway, friends, that's it. Hey, we're done here, friends. I appreciate you guys. Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast, Pastor Rick Valley. Uh, still blasting the devil. Uh, trying to get these on every day. Just having it at the time. Things are going on. and uh, But stay tuned, friends. I will be here later today. Probably, hopefully, praying 3.30 YouTube live back on there after about a week or so, but you know, I'm trying to keep these messages going here at Spreaker, uh, along with like Podbean and Anchor and Castbox, some of the little side uh podcast channels that I, uh, I'm usually on. Uh, those are great channels, they're actual excellent uh audio podcast channels, and uh, so I've tried to add kind of solo cast a few at a time, uh, especially like right here at uh, Anchor. Uh, or a Spreaker. And then, well, you know, like I said, once we get the finances set up for uh, our uh, Blog Talk radio friends, don't forget, there's still messages on there. There's still podcasts. I'm just waiting on finances uh, as we've opened up our PayPal channel, uh, World Wildlife Ministry Podcast at uh, paypal.com. Uh, the bank uh, information is available. And uh, hey, if it's on your heart, friends, feel free. Uh, we'd love to, uh, you know, we love, I just want to keep doing these messages, friends. So, again, appreciate it. And that's it, friends. A little after midnight and uh, going into our Saturday afternoon podcast right here later on today at uh, about 3.30 or so. Uh, so, grab your copies, get your book, and uh, meditate on the words of our Lord and Savior, friends. I'll see you later this afternoon. I am hoping 3.30, uh, friends, t today uh, at our channel, the YouTube Live channel. Uh, and uh, just, uh, you know, stay tuned, friends. Twitter, Periscope. Uh, mercy, I told you, there is, uh, it's, it's yawning time, friends, but I love getting these messages out, you know, even though the devil's been poking at me and going, nah, forget it, forget it, nobody cares, I don't care what the devil dude has to say, he's got nothing good to say anyway, right, are we right, he's got nothing good to say anyway, so why would we listen to him, you know, why do we even bother listening to what the devil has to say? Uh, so, 
Forget about it, man. No way. I, I, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna buy it, friends. Just remember, whatever he's selling, don't buy it. Listen to God's report, friends. Who are you gonna believe, God or the enemy, the devil? Forget about it. Like I said. Anyway, friends, I. You know, I really like uh, getting this message out, and I hope you guys are getting something out of it. Uh, like I said, I see the numbers uh, jumping, uh, but I'm just being obedient. You know, like I said, we're in, I'm in my fourth year here, and um, you know, it's it's I, we have to seek God, friends. Have a desire to keep running in the race. Have to, you know to seek God's uh, to seek God, friends. I, I may not have phrased that right, but you know, ho hopefully, what the, the kind of the gist that I what I'm trying to say here. Uh, if we seek after God, we keep keep seeking after God, friends. We got to be a God chaser every day, and uh, putting on that armor of God. No worries about the world. Don't be don't know, don't get caught up in what the world what's going on in the world. You know, for God's sakes, uh, forget it. You know, seek God, friends. Uh, you know, read your Bible, study, pray, and uh, keep walking in that spirit, that Ruach of uh, Adonai. So, uh, friends, again, thank you guys so much for uh, hanging out with me tonight. Uh, and sorry about the couple little pauses on... Like I said, I got a little pop up on my my message, you know, uh, about the uh, about the uh, you know clearing some stuff up and resetting it. So, uh, friends, it is Saturday morning, and uh, I got to get this posted out. You guys can catch them all over on all our major podcast channels and networks all over the world. Uh, all right, friends, that's it. Catch you tomorrow, later today, actually. I keep thinking it's later, but in a way, it's later today. Ho praying 3.30 this afternoon, YouTube live, uh, along with our anchor and cast box. Now, I may just go ahead and, uh, you know, do a live uh, simulcast here again. So, friends, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And, uh... I will see you later today on our YouTube live channel, friends. Have a blessed weekend, friends. Relax, stretch out, be in the Word of God. And I'll see you later today, my friends. Be good. Uh, I love you guys. Thank you so much again, again, again. As a church. As a church. As a church. As a church. So, Again, friends, right, right here. You guys are awesome, and I will see you soon. Uh, amazing, friends. Amazing. This hour and a half already passed. And we are, I, I've still got a few more chapters in Enoch, and then I'm praying on the next book. Uh, but uh, again, <sighs> take a deep breath. Have a good weekend, friends. I'll see you later today. Uh, at YouTube Live, probably with uh, Anchor and CastBox Live. That's it, friends. I'm out of here. Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast. Pastor Rick Riley here preaching the good news gospel to all nations by the calling of God's will. I'll see you soon, friends. Amen. Have a good, good weekend. Blessings and Shabbat Shalom. Amen. <laughs>